Warning, the following may contain adult themes, concepts, and languages. Be aware that there is a separation between the character and the player, even when the pronoun I is used. Okay, um, I think I asked golf last time, so Mboy, what did we do the last session? Uh, we got a couple prisoners, a drow, and a human from a camp that had two humans, uh, slave miners, and we took those miners, we're taking the miners back to the town that we came from originally that had no males in it, so us. Uh, as far as I know, we were about to head back. No, we were already there. We made it back. Oh, okay. So we're back. And we we're going to question the drow and the... When we reach Meriton, yeah. Alright, you you have reached the city. We're back to um, Meriton? I don't want to be back to Meriton yet. Not Meriton. You have reached the small uh, town. Okay. Uh, in combination with the... Uh, the citizens, you have uh, already had the hello from all the women and children and the men and, you know, the getting together stuff. That's already happened. So you are in the town with um, a crap ton of leather armor. Mm -hmm. Or actually a dozen leather armor. And you are uh, and free prisoners yep. and a lot of other things. Three prisoners, right? Two humans, and I think a draw. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can, uh, you can uh, go ahead. Okay. Well, first off, I'm gonna offer the chain shirt the that we took off the draw to Marley to equip. To equip. Because it's better than what he currently has. Apart okay. from the stealth. No, stealth it doesn't do anything with the stealth because it's medium armor. Not chain. It's chain shirt. Hmm. Uh, chain shirt does not give this advantage. Yeah, it's not chain mail. Let's see what chain shirt does. Exactly. It's I believe it's th it's medium armor. Does not give disadvantage for stealth. It is a base of thirteen plus up to two dexterity for armor class. No, that would make it better if you have low dex. Yeah, he only has. I think he only has plus one dex, right? Yeah. Yeah. Then it is indeed better. It's definitely better then. So it it should bump your AC up to seventeen with your shield. So if you want, do you want to? If you're gonna use it, I'm gonna give it to you. How does that sound? Yeah, I will use it. Okay, so chain shirt is your uh, equip. So you have plus one AC from your dex. You have the. 13 AC, so 14 AC plus 2 from your shield is 16. Plus 1 from his uh, fighting style, so he's 17. Ah, that's the 17, okay. Mm -hmm. So, assuming you have the shield, you'll have 17 dex, you're 1 below me. Or 17 AC. You definitely have more dex than me. <laughs> yeah, I, you guys haven't noticed already, I'm gonna be like, strictly heavy armor. Because it's the only type of armor that dex doesn't affect at all. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, I'm going to um, see if the... Since we're here, what time is it, roughly? Um, it took, I think I said, about two, two days, days for everybody to move. So I'd say it's around the evening by now. Okay, well, I'm going to suggest we stay... But before we turn in, and before, in case anyone else wants to do anything, I'm going to ask to see if they have any, uh, like, spare flasks in the village. Mm, what type of flasks are you searching for? Um, just, like, nothing... It doesn't have to be, like, glass glass, but it, it would. I would like it to be... Well, I guess a glass flask would be best, because I want it to not, like, uh, leak liquid through. So, waterproof, uh, small waterproof containers, I guess, would be the best way of putting it. Uh, they don't have any flasks. They do have um, a couple of uh, animal bladders, which you could use. Okay. Uh, they are m waterproof. How, how large are these? About the s Sheeps. 
So they're, they're from a sheep, so they're the size of a drinking... Okay. Yeah. Pouch. So they're a little... You say they're probably a little smaller than a flask? Yeah. Not much. Okay. I'll, uh, how many do they have on offer, basically? Uh, they'll just give you, like, four. Okay. I mean, you have helped them out. They haven't... That to pay or anything, so okay. Um, they're willing to give this. Yeah, and the other, uh, the other thing is, I'm looking for like a, and I, they may not have it, like a cloak, and I'm thinking something like a rogue, a roguish cloak, so it's like it can fully conceal the body, as well as having a hood. Mm, they don't use them here. Okay, have no need for it. So, and I want to ask around. I don't know if I did this last time we were here, but about uh, if they don't have any like tombs in the area. I'm not sure if you asked about that last time. I think you did the first time. Yeah, I kind of want to ask. I kind of want to ask again. The last time you, sp yeah, because the last time you spoke, they, you only spoke to um, the women, right? Because there were no men, right? And or, and they weren't exactly open to us very much. But now, better rep rep uh, repertoire, I guess. <sighs> so yeah, I'm gonna ask around. Do I need to roll anything for that or? Uh, yeah, roll a, um, charisma. Do we maybe get advantage because we help them out? Um, no, I won't give you advantage. The, uh, roll you need to roll is just extremely low. Okay. Here goes nothing. And the higher, the more info you can get. There we go. Uh, one of the miners, uh, can remember something of a old, of an old tomb. Um, the... What what he remembers is a little sketchy, but he basically says there's there is a, a sort of tomb in the area in the forest between uh, Meriton and this little town. And uh, from what he from what you can gather is that most of the 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 tomb isn't immediately visible as a tomb. Okay. That's about all he heard. Le yeah, all ab that's about all he heard. Or in remembers. So is it like off the path? Is it... It is it somewhere is in the forest between here and Meriton. Hmm. Okay. You haven't seen it from the path, so... That's still not much to go on. Alright, um, let's see, do do do, yeah, unless, um, unless you guys have something to do tonight, I'm more or less ready to just, uh, camp out until early morning. Just so, just so, uh, I can remember, this town is all humans, right? Yeah, it's a human town. Okay. I mean, you might. In, in this town is full human. In the previous town in Marathon, you there were like one or two dwarfs, maybe like a little bit more diversity, but still, run ninety percent human at least. I run into any like older, it's like elves or dwarves. I, let me know. Okay. Anyone else? Anything else? No, I'm good. Same. Okay, then uh, you guys sleep. The town has no problem with giving you something to eat. They have a little bit more problems with giving the uh, captures. Or your, yeah, the ones you imprisoned something to eat. They get minimal food anyway. Hmm? They get minimal food anyway. They get enough to keep them walking. Yeah, but I don't even want to give them that, actually. Yeah. So... Well, we can assume that at least I had some spare berries or something, since they're feeding me. Well, uh, since we're both wanderers, I think it says uh, we can feed up to five people. Six, including so ourselves. 
there you go. That's right. So we should be so able to get enough to feed, feed them, them as well. Yeah, you basically give them anything you find in the forest basically. and just keep the good stuff for yourself. Basically. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's the following morning. Okay. Um, I'm more or less ready to head out. I will mention to the group that uh, I want the drow to be questioned. So, um, when we get back, because, especially because of, like, for example, this chest and this item that they seem to be going for, I, I would like to know more about it. So, um, the other two are more disposable than the drow, so, uh, try to keep them alive if possible. And I'm kind of insinuate this a little more heavily towards Tyrannius, uh, at least, and then I continue, at least until, uh, you know, we get what we want out of him. Yeah, that's the only reason he's still alive. Okay, I nod my head. And by the way, uh, something that I've been intentionally doing, because once again, they're gagged and they've got basically, I don't know, something over their heads to cover their eyes. I have intentionally been keeping Rita away from them. Like, uh, at as far away as, you know, reasonably possible. Because uh, I'm not exactly super comfortable with uh, other people kind of knowing about her at this, given uh, what we ran into on the way here. So, um, and as we leave, I'm going to be probably a little more wary of travelers on the road. So, just keeping that in mind. Okay. How weary, like, you're gonna just run off kind of randomly <laughs> to see people again? Uh, no, but enough to where if I see someone, I'm gonna take a, get, make sure I get a good look without them being able to really see us before deciding, like, who they are. You know? Basically, just, I'm paying attention to see if I see anyone on the road. Keeping my eyes peeled. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, oh, and I'd also want to go back to the, uh, I don't know, do you think these, these the sheep bladder would hold anything useful from that spider we killed if it's still viable? If you could <laughs> find the spider. Right. And if it's not, not decomposed, eaten, or anything like that, the venom would still be old. Old? Old. Hmm. I mean, it has been there for, let's see, two, three, three to four three days to four now? Days. No? Yeah. yeah. That's not super so, bad, but yeah. It's probably clogged up by now. Yeah, okay, then never mind. It's just something to... We'll have that for now. Um, Alright, I'm ready to go. Uh, what way? Um, I guess we'll just follow the road all the way back unless yeah. someone wants to cut through. Yep, that makes that sense. Makes so we've dropped off the like people back, right? Yeah. The miners, yeah. okay. And it's just us. Us and, and the prisoners. And the prisoners. Okay. Um, you uh, are you going to walk like fast, normal, or? Ah, normal's fine, I like, think. What do you guys think? Normal's good. Normal's good. Yeah, normal may be a tad slower because the people are tied up. <laughs> Can't go as fast. Let's we make them. I'm good for normal pace. Let's not let them, let them. decide our pace. Okay. We'll give them time to think, you know? Just make them walk. You'll, uh... Encourage, encourage them, them if they don't want to move, move, or...? Yeah, encourage... We'll strongly encourage them. Any specific encouraging ways? Maybe grab a stick and uh, slap them on the... Calf. Ah, uh, okay. For the back of the knee. Just a soft one, just like, hey, keep it going. Okay. Make sure they don't talk to each other. Well, they're gagged. If they do, they're we need gagged. to make sure we hear. Oh, yeah. They're gagged and blind. They're gagged and blindfolded. Blindfolded. So they're basically just being led. Okay. Okay, let's see. Um. First day. Um, you walk through the uh, over the path. You come across the split. Mm -hmm. 
and shortly after the split uh, it is evening and you guys have to rest okay uh, it's rather uneventful you don't come across anyone actually it's uh yeah comfortable comfortable with prisoners i guess all things considered yeah for us at least uh do we do we still have the same night watch um i still i still would insist on being first and suggesting that Tyranius be last but i'm fine with saying the second how many hours was it each two hours each two, two. two. Okay. So there'll be two hours um, watch per person and six hours rest mm -hmm. or sleep. And my, I have the lantern. Whoever's got ha on watch has access to the lantern and the means of lighting it. Okay. Um. So, Ember or Golf, you're the first who goes on watch. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's getting darker until it's it's dark. End of your watch. Um, after that, Yuma goes on watch. You are probably just blowing bubbles again next to the fire. Mm, as long as it's quiet. And the bubbles are quiet. Yeah, so. We've basically stated that the last time. Um, apart from that, your uh, watch is pretty uh, calm. Do you have any other thoughts during your watch, or is it just... Thinking about this journey, and then also I kind of want to bring my backstory into play a little more, so... Keeping that in back in my mind. Okay, so just your... Uh, you mean the incident, or...? Yeah, just, and then trying to find out stuff about it. Okay. Um, your, your watch and it's, uh, you wake up the next person, which is Marley. Tommy. Yeah. Marley, Tommy. It's your turn for the watch. Roll the, uh, blip, 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 perception check. Uh-oh. <laughs> He's making him do perception. Something's there. What is it? I'm uh, it's a 12. looking at something else. It's a 12, then let's see. Pretty decent. And don't forget, you do have the lantern. In case uh, your guy spots something and he's not sure. That's not that interesting, I think. Uh oh. Um, it's trying to make it interesting for us. You are. Uh you are running around, or you, you're sitting around in front of the campfire, you hear a noise um, uh, around you. And you see a um, long, furry, snake-like creature. It is pretty um, large. It's, um, it's about the length of... A horse, on it's way shorter on its legs, so it stands lower. What do you do? And it's, <laughs> it's yeah, it's 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 moving towards the camp. Uh, I'm gonna reach for the. La are we are we in the forest again? Yes, we're actually still. I'm gonna reach for the lantern and draw my sword at the same time, mm. and start waking the others up. The lantern is currently off, not lit. Yeah, you have to light it. So you can't technically can't draw your sword if you light it. Yeah. I think I'll just draw my but sword. But you can away draw your sword out. when you move. I will add that. So like if you attack or move, you can do it as a f basically a free action. So if you light the lantern now before initiative, if initiative is going to be set, you'll be fine. I'll do that. Uh you light the lantern. And what you see in front of you is a uh, 
I don't know if you'd recognize this thing. Uh, do a nature roll, it's not that difficult. So, same thing. Right? Is nature's wisdom, or is that... Intelligence. Oh, it's intelligence. It's recognizing certain creatures. Um, you kind of recognize this creature as a weasel, only it's way larger than a weasel ought to be. You said it's snake-like? Yeah, weasels are kind of snake-like, but they're long. Very... Yeah, but then weasels have four legs. Yeah, yeah I said kind of. He said he, he's on legs, he's, he's like the size of a horse, but much lower to the ground. Okay. And furry, don't forget furry. Yeah, furry. So, what's your reaction? Uh, grab the lantern and light it. And, he was, and, and, he's, so. and he's, he shouted us to wake us up, I guess, was also yeah. as he was doing that. Is what he said. Then, okay. Can I draw my sword then? Yeah, sure, you can draw your sword. And then draw my sword in protection. You have drawn your sword. The weasel is uh, walking around, uh, sees the uh, sudden extra light source, and just stands there and starts walking more or less around the camp while continuously looking at it. Okay, are we awake yet so we can see this thing? You are, aw you, you are getting awake now. You're starting to get awake, so you could see it. Okay, can I can I like roll to see what it is too? Sure. Toby already did so. Yeah, you also recognize it. Now, do I get any more information more per se maybe. than what was already given, or? No. Okay, so is it? Uh, do I know like what they eat? Mm, you know that the types uh, at least uh, omnivore, carnivore, weasels, herbivore. Weasels generally eat more like insects, I think. Let's check that. Are they not? Are they typically nocturnal? Um, sometimes they are nocturnal, not always. Hmm, so this is it's this more, is a bit of an enigma. Yeah. Oh no! Wait, they actually eat way more than I actually expected. They eat. Interesting. They. Omnivores. Uh, yeah, they generally eat um, things including like eggs, rabbits, pygmy shrews, field mice, brown rats, house mice. And uh, one of this size would probably. would probably go would probably go after things like rabbits, um, small deer, perhaps even larger deer. Humanoids. Could be. Yeah, if he's, the, if he's as big as a horse. Yeah, he's pretty big, so... I see this thing and I say, uh... Because it's kind of surprising. I say, uh... We should all get ready if it's not attacking. And as soon as it, as soon as we're all ready, I, I suggest we take this thing out. Tyrannius agrees. Uh, I already have my yes. sword out in preparation. I'm going to draw my light crossbow. Okay. Okay. And um, nodding at everyone, I guess we're all ready. I guess we're gonna attack it. The weasel keeps circling around the camp, and it's now exactly on the opposite side where it started, or where Tommy first saw it. And you have been slowly turning with it. Okay. I guess I will shout attack and uh, launch a firebolt, unless I'm really right, close. Roll for initiative. Unless I'm really close. How close am I? Uh, around 10 feet, 20 to 20 feet. It's like you have set up your camp and it's just outside of the reach of the basic oh, fire. another one! You didn't get it out of your system, apparently. Again, this is for initiative, though, so I don't actually have something bad happen to me, do I? Um, with a 1 in initiative, yes, you do. Oh. You skip around. 
Okay. Wait, even though we have a surprise, I mean, we were technically, I think we would get a surprise round on it, right? Not really. Yeah. It's it knows you are there. I mean, the movement in itself isn't that surprising, so to say. Uh, Toby, you're first. Okay, I'm, I guess I'm close enough to uh, to charge at it and hit it. Um, I do have a question for you. You are a druid, am I correct? This is true. How do you feel with attacking a creature that hasn't done anything to you? Given that fair, you okay, fair, fair enough. Um, but it is nighttime, and it's uh, um, okay. It, I think it I have doesn't an look like it was attacking you. It just for you, it just looked more curious than anything else. Okay, one one sec. I'm just checking the spell. Do like speak with animals or something? Yeah, I think I've got that one saved. Yes, I do. So I'm just just quickly reading it one sec. No, sure, it's your turn anyway. Good thing you went first then. If you're gonna try this. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna cast my uh, speak with animals. And uh, attempt to uh, find out what its intentions are. All right, speak. <laughs> um, what are your intentions? I yelled loudly at, at its direction. And to the other people, it sounds more like quickly noises, <laughs> I guess. I don't know, does it actually change the way you speak, or does it just let animals understand you? I think it changes the way you speak, so that the animal can understand you. Mm, okay. And to me, that's the more interesting way. <laughs> and we're all like, what? Squeak. <laughs> squeak, squeak, squeakity. Uh, the weasel looks kind of surprised at you. And he says, um, eh, I was just checking. What are you checking for? Nice spells. What have you been eating? Sorry, nice what? Smells. Spells. Smells. Smells nice. Ah, oh. uh, yes. Um, well, what would you... I guess we have some extra we could share. That would be amazing. I mean, so you should probably tell forward. us to, to not attack at this point. Sheath your sword or okay, something. I put, my sword, I put my sword away. Yeah, okay. My, uh, my um, scimitar away. And uh, I motioned everyone just to put their weapons away and uh, move aside uh, to allow the weasel access to where our Or you could just hand food him the was. food instead of giving him access? Oh, no, no, I sense no uh, threat, I take it. Okay, I'm still on guard. Perception roll? It doesn't seem threatening to you. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, I behave very welcomingly. And uh, I also ask him, uh, does, does it know if... Uh, the location of a um, what was it we were you were asking about uh, golf? The, a tomb. Yeah, asking about the tomb. If he's aware of where the tomb might be. What's a tomb? Uh, it's a uh, a place built underground by people like uh, ourselves, and it would be very old. Ah, huh. well, there are some places underground here. And th there's one more human thingy. What's the human thingy? It's a house. There's a house in the middle of the forest. Uh-huh. Smells like death. Uh, interesting. So I, I get directions by, from the weasel to the, to the two places? I assume that's possible? Uh, the weasel just shrugs, eats a little bit. Of the the food and then uh, points you in the general direction of both of of both uh, the house and the the underground area. You have the idea that he's talking about the same place. Ooh. Oh, okay, interesting. Okay, now it's not back where we came from. It's a little bit, little bit back to Meriton, That is. Oh yeah, okay. okay. It's not. It's not. So it's still technically we on, the on the way. The, yeah, if you look on the map. 
You see a uh, little black circle close to the mountains. That's the town you were just left. You are no. now around here, in uh, more or less on, a, on the uh, yeah. cross. Mm -hmm. And it's slightly more down south. It's it's halfway between this place and Meriton. Okay. And I'm more into the forest. So you wouldn't, you would definitely not be able to see it from the um, road. The weasel continues eating, and he turns around. He says, "Well, if you're going there, uh, be careful around those spiders. They are tasty, but their venom is nasty." Okay, well, I thank the uh, the weasel for his assistance and uh, tell him I hope he has a uh, pleasant evening. Thank you. And he just finishes a little bit of food and then slowly walks away. And after a while, when he's out of sight, you suddenly hear um, more of a running, jumping noise. You mean like it's running away? Probably. Okay, well, I let the others know about our conversation and what information I, I gleaned. Okay, um, given that uh, uh, Tyrannius and myself are both, um, I guess it's the outlander trait, the wandering trait, we have a good idea of geography and stuff. Um, we'll look at, like, when we look at maps, we're good. Uh, I imagine we won't have too much difficulty. Yes, the wanderer feature. Um, I can always recall you know, some of the features around you. Um, I would suggest, since we have dead weight with us, that we deliver these guys first. Possibly see if there are any, like, antidotes or poison resistance, like, things in Meriton. And then if we want to continue this further, we do so after. Yeah, I agree. I also want to see if I can update, upgrade my armor. Yes, so. I would like that too, actually. <laughs> Anyone, so any other thoughts? The and then backtrack? Yeah. I mean, we're not super far. It's only like, probably do like an extra day to get rid of the dead weight. Because we don't want, we don't want like spiders to take these guys. And yeah, basically sure. from, from here to that point would be a day and from that point to the town would be another day. Yeah. So going from here to the town is like two days and back to that point is three days. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. It, it'll probably cost you four since you want to uh, uh, spend some money in the town, etc. Yeah, yeah. But but yeah, I, I suggest we go back to the town, get rid of the dead weight, get our money, buy some items that might be coming useful, and then uh, set out because this seems like it could be very interesting. At any rate, I'm going back to bed. <laughs> uh, how long into my shift was this? Did this occur? Halfway, so you basically have like half of your shift left, and after that, the next person, uh, the final person, is going to yeah, have. Yeah, we his still shift. have three hours of sleep, basically. At least I have three hours of sleep. You have two more hours of sleep. Yeah, the other, you have two hours of sleep and one more hour of rest. You, you, all of you. This is a minor disturbance. Yeah. So all of you will. Uh... Yeah. So we reclaim our spells. That's at well, the I'll reclaim my spell? At the, at, at the end of your rest, yeah. yes. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, fair yeah, enough. Yeah, yeah. So it didn't well, it cost you anything? I just tell uh, Marley to to get to sleep, because I might as well stay up and, and finish the watch. Would he get a long well, rest if he did that, though? Mm, uh, I'll give him the benefit. Uh, if he... He, uh, he will get it this time, but next time he does need the full rest. The full sleep, okay. etc. But this time it won't bother you any in any way. But next time, if you do something like this, good in like to the next evening, it will bother you. Okay, thanks. Okay, um, your watches, uh, you don't see anything or hear anything else. Um, by now, golf. One of your flasks is not three quarters full, but half full. Uh, yeah. Well, actually, it would be less than that because I've used. This is the third time I've used it, so I would say it's That's a quarter it's full. It's probably empty by okay, now. Okay, it's empty. That's fine. Yeah. 
You used it. Where did you use it again? Um, we used it. Um, in once with the spider. Once with the spider. Once in the cave. Yeah. Okay. And then, then once now. Then it's empty by now. Okay. So one of them is empty. Yep. I still have four flasks left. Yep. Um. Next day goes by. You are walking towards the town. You see a couple of people. Nobody really of interest. And I'm checking. <laughs> yeah, you you are checking. You you don't see anyone of interest. You certainly don't see the um, fine gentleman you passed on your way here. And that evening we do the same type of watch. Mm -hmm. And all the watches are basically fine. There are no other. Uh, Special creatures mentioning of any worth, of course, there are like owls. Who? Yeah, that you hear in the distance. But nothing really particular, and uh, mm, the next day you basically arrive early in the morning in the town. And um, I'm not, I'm basically gonna instruct Rita. Or more like midday. You arrive more like midday. Okay, I'm basically gonna instruct Rita like just before we get there to go back to where we previously had made camp and just kind of make a makeshift camp there again. And she looks at you and she asks, uh, "If that guy is still nearby, I would like to be able to defend myself." What are you asking for? A weapon. Something useful. Dagger, uh, I don't know, one of the swords, perhaps the leather armor. I... I am not going with him again. This is the reason why I want you to make camp outside of town, just in case he is, uh... Even lurking. then. Um... Yeah, alright, I'll give her a leather armor, but I don't think it's a good idea for her to have a sword, so I tell her that I'm gonna basic. I will buy... If they've got something like a club or something in the uh, town, I'll buy that for her. She is. She she accepts it. She says that you should buy the club soon then and be back soon. Yeah. Okay. Um. We've got a lot of stuff to do and sell. So um, after she is basically gone back to where we made camp previously. Um, I'm gonna make sure that my wolf cap is basically on so that I'm not immediately recognizable. <laughs> mm -hmm. And um, lead the prisoners straight to the barracks, I guess, would be the best thing to do. Or wherever the commander would be. The commander would be in the barracks. Yeah. Let me set you into the town. Loading, loading, loading. There it is. I loaded before you. That's weird. No. Because I can put you on another t tab and keep myself on a different tab. Oh. I can even split the, the entire group up if I wish to. Oh, interesting. I hope you give Which us some You should have matter. seen the second session, I guess. Ye when you were going downstairs. Yeah, when she went down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are correct. So, um,. You are. You immediately move towards the uh, garrison, or the yeah, the place where the commander stayed. Right. Yep. Yep. All right. You arrive there. The people, uh, the guards, let you in without much pro trouble. They kind of know you from your general um, exploits. The day. Yeah, the, no more like they recognize you. They recognize four half elves coming towards them. This general clothing, these general weapons. So they kind of know uh, who you are and will let you in without any problems. The um, commander stands there or sits behind his desk. Well, gentlemen, what do you have to tell? I can see you have at least some prisoners. Good news, I hope. Uh, I'm gonna, d I'm gonna, before I say anything, I'm gonna go ahead and deliver seven right ears. Or, no, Gun yeah, roast. 14 right ears. We have 14 pairs, so 14 right ears. <laughs> he stands there and he says, gross. Yeah. 
Hey, I've I've fish. been carrying these. What do you think I'm doing? <laughs> you might want to clean up those. Yeah. Your bag or something. So I'm thinking you have encountered the the bandits. Well, yes. The bandits. Yes. Um, I guess I'll go ahead and take the lead. Uh, we traveled northward uh, and stayed in a town to the north east and found that there were no men in this town and uh, suspected that the bandits had taken them for most likely labor which was indeed the case we were ambushed as we followed their trail uh, took that out managed to find a map to the bandit hideout uh, and uh, took care of the most of the bandits uh, captured those you see here and returned 12 uh, villagers back to uh, their village. Impressive, impressive. You should be proud of yourself. You should be happy. So, uh, these three guys you have brought here. What are they? Why did you bring them? Well, uh, we took... We took captives because we could. It was relatively safe to incapacitate two of them. Uh, the third is the leader. He is a drow. And I very much I... would like to have him questioned. Well, we were going to question him anyway. You wish to do the questioning yourself? Mm, unless you have someone who is... I should suppose I could say more proficient at it than I am. Then... I don't know how far you are willing to go, but... I, will, I can give you an assistance. Yeah, that would be uh, appreciated. Um, for the moment, however, um, I would like to request our pay now in some time so that we may spend our uh, our gold in the town. And I'm kind of hinting that you know, like, hey, I want to help the local economy. Um, and uh would uh like to do the interrogation for later okay then we'll uh stow away these three somewhere else for now um mm -hmm. uh, about your payment 10 gold pieces per head well in this case per ear which would land you a nice 140 plus gold the pieces. three captives Plus the free captive, so that would make 170 gold pieces. And, well, you managed to uh, save an entire village, something that I didn't expect. So I'll uh, just round it down to a nice 200. Round it up to a 200? Round, yeah, round it up. I, I look at the others for, uh, for uh, uh, affirmation. Okay. Draw the piece. Sounds good. Uh, uh, then uh, I say we will accept it. Do you want it in uh, one stack, four stacks? Four stacks would be preferable. He lays out four stacks of each. That's uh, one to ten, so it's 200, 200 divided by ten, so basically twenty. Yeah, so. What? Uh, shouldn't, shouldn't it be divided? I'm not gonna give it. Hmm? I'm not gonna give it to you in gold, in um, gold, because that would be uh, annoying to say the least. So he gives five platinum to each. Okay. Wow. Okay. First platinum. Which is Which basically is fifty gold per person. Right. It's ten gold. It's a ten gold exchange. <clears throat> it just takes less weight. Yep. It's less, an, it's less annoying, less cumbersome. Um, the prisoners are led away. Uh, you can see that they are being... Le uh, you, you walk with them outside and you can see them being led uh, before, the e of, uh, before you exit the building. There's a little hallway to and the side. I mentioned and as they're leaving, uh, we, we would like that rope back when uh, you're done with it. You are going to question them, right? Uh, eventually, yes. Then you can pick it up. Okay. We'll just uh, leave it with the commander. Okay. 
Um, and then I, I look. We will, however, keep our uh, shackles. Very well. Um, I uh, I look to the others and um, I say I've got some stuff to sell. I will be heading to the blacksmith. Um, so if anybody wants to join me there, because it's going to get complicated without many people selling stuff, uh, that's where I'll be currently. And uh, I'm going to start making my way over there. Anyone else following him to the blacksmith? Uh, is the blacksmith would also be doing armor, I guess, like uh, studded leather? Studded Perhaps. leather, yes. Studded yeah, okay. leather okay. would be something you consider to go for a blacksmith. Since studded leather is not just leather, but it's also with pieces of metal in between it. Okay, so I, I join him on his trip up to the blacksmith. Anyone else? I'm actually gonna go to the tavern. Okay, one tavern, two blacksmith, Tommy. Oh, I'm gonna go to the blacksmith as well. Okay, three blacksmith, we go there first. Alright. You are welcomed by the nice blacksmith lady who is inside of the um, shop, she recognizes you. Um, I, 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 Actually, I, 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 Brad, can I change my mind and go to the backsmith to sell some of the extra, like, crossbows, armor, scimitar? There are now four people at the Okay, there we go! Okay, thanks. Uh, I don't mind. Uh, yeah. So she, recognized two, she recognizes two people. Alright, do I only have... Welcome back to my beautiful just, just, blacksmith. We, we should have 12 leather armors among us, right? Can everybody... Well, actually more, because Marley should have his own, which he switched out. So that should be 13 in total. Can everybody say how many leather armors nope, they have? Nope, we have 12 then. We just have 12? Okay. Remember who you gave an armor to? Because I only have two in my inventory, apparently. So it's weird. You just Three. gave one to Rita. Right, so that means we should have 12 among us. Yeah. Given that you have properly... Uh, have five. Oh, that's hot one, okay. I have... So that's two. one, five, three, three. So that's 12. Okay. Wait. Okay. I have two though. Well, Brita has one. So that's, uh, that then it would be thirteen. So we're missing one. What? Because we have we have twelve from the ones the guys that we we took out, right? Did you took away the one you just gave to Rita? Did I already do that? I might have already done it. But then we still don't have oh, the same no, amount. Because because Marley, it. I gave Marley the chain shirt. He was wearing leather armor, so that leather armor should now be basically in his inventory. So it oh, would yeah. cancel it out with the twelve that we got. Oh. Okay. So we should have twelve in total. Which I, I thought we did. So I have I, I have Ty, I have, I have Ty has one. Twelve. Ty has one. Just you have five. My... How many do you have, in boy? Three. I have two, so I should have three then. We'll just say because that's six and six. So yeah, you have I, two I, not I, including the one on Rita. Or including the one on Rita. No, not including the one on Rita, because that's 13 total. Now we have 12, Rita has one. You don't have more than 12 total. anyway. Yeah, because Marley had the one he started with. He's wearing chain mail now. Or chain shirt. Yeah, and you basically gave that copy away to Rita. So you have 12. Right. So you have 12 times letter, okay. Yeah, we're... Okay, just... Okay. Uh, so... Point. Yeah, uh, we're here to uh, apparently buy and sell. I'm always interested. Uh, do you? Especially in the buying part for you. Um, uh, we'll probably just do this as a uh, one, uh, I guess, at least for me, one exchange. You would happen to have splint armor, would you? Splint, splint, splint. Uh, splint. No, we don't have splint armor ready, uh, laying ready. Mostly because splint armor is uh, tailored to fit a person. Okay. So basically, what we would do is we would measure all your sizes. You give half payment up front. Then we start making it. We can take usually about four days, roughly. Okay. And when you come and pick the uh, up, you pay the other half, we give you your armor, both of us are happy. Is there any additional amount I can pay you to make it better? Or is it come as it is? Define better? 
more perhaps more protective for one she kind of uh, comes to you and says my husband is a is a good blacksmith but he's not a master yet he's rather young for a dwarf so you know, you know. what you get is what you get I understand but it's by no means bad or anything. No, I, I did not mean Good. I did not mean to imply it as such. I said better. Okay. Um, I'll 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 uh, I'll write. We'll cons I will uh, consider that for now. But I guess I will uh, do the selling at least for me right now, uh, which is do to do according to my inventory. A uh, oh, also, do you have a club? Just a basic club. For like a yes, we will have clubs around here. All right. Um, let me search for them. One, one sec. And she, she just goes behind the, in the back. She comes back with a basic club. Okay. Um. All right. Uh, I have a short sword, three leather armor, and six scimitars. One free letter armor. That's three times five is fifteen. Okay. Short sword is five, and the scimitars. Wow. Twenty total. So I have six. Yeah. I have one. Well, don't you'll you'll take care of yours later. Okay. I'm kind of doing yeah, mine yeah. in one purchase. Yes, I'm kind does. of doing some gold exchange. Hmm. Scimitars are kind of nice, actually. All right. She tallies all of it up, and she says that'll be that'll uh, give you seventy-five gold pieces. All right. If that is agreeable. Um. Considering that I I would like to buy the armor, could you uh, maybe be willing to bump that up slightly? Hmm. Roll charisma, persuasion, okay. which is like meh. <laughs> no, not really. You, the the main of the the base components for the um, armor are reasonably expensive, and we are not going to use these swords as the base. I mean, these swords are pretty fine, to be honest. All right. Um. Okay, I will. I will go ahead and uh, I, I look at you guys. We're planning to come back here after a little excursion up north. Yes, guys. Probably. Sure. As long as it's close as town. It probably will be. Um. All right. Uh. So I'll take. I'll take the uh, club. And I will go ahead and I will pay for half of the uh, splint. Alright, so you pay 100, get 70. You will, you will pay 100 gold pieces and one silver piece. Okay. So basically, what you get is 74. No, wait. You have to pay. An additional, it, an additional twenty-five gold and one silver. Yeah. Yeah. Basically. Well, I definitely have that. Um, uh, uh because I don't want to carry too much. Where's my? Stop loading, you stupid PDF. Okay. Uh, I'll just give her the twenty-five gold and one silver. Okay. So I now have 44 gold and 7 silver. And she asks, uh, if you wish to wait here so I can take your measurements after these fine gentlemen have done whatever they wish to do. Um, I'll, I will say, I, I, will, I will go ahead, I will say, uh, I will be back in like 5 minutes. I'm gonna go and, I'm not gonna say this verbally, but I'm going to go and deliver the club to Rita. Alright. So you just go out right now? I go out right now, the club can come right back. Okay. Next person. Can I go since I'm gonna head over to the tavern right knock after? Knock yourself out. Sure. I'm not there, but knock yourself out. 
Okay, I hope I don't roll one or something. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so I would like to sell back. Uh, uh, did you sell back all our leather armor? Or just I sell back own? the ones I had. I had three leather armor on me. Okay. I would like to sell back then three light crossbows, three things of leather armor, and a scimitar of my own. So that'll be five plus fifteen plus what's the light crossbow? One light crossbow? Three light crossbows. Three. Maybe, maybe see if they have studded leather because, or if they have multiple studded leather for the two of you because that gives you an additional AC. And it costs 45 gold. Oh yeah, I would get another thing of armor. I would be wearing two. What? No. No, no you, you just you, be taking you, off your you take off your leather armor and just adding the stellar. Oh. The, the, well, why would they, I want to do that though? If then I'd have no armor. No, you buy studded leather armor. Oh. If, what you have now is leather armor. It's 11 plus your dex modifier. Right. And if you would buy the studded leather. You get 12 flux of death modifier, and you can actually sell the leather armor that you have right now. That's true. Okay, yeah, they'll do that. If they have it, yeah. Does she have it? Let's see what studded leather actually consists of. Yeah, they have it. It's leather with pieces of uh, iron in it. I just said that even. Yeah, well, double so yeah, it it. It's 45 gold. Okay. If I sell back everything, how much will it including, be? How about including the leather that you're also currently wearing, per se? Exactly, so four, four leather armor, three light crossbows, and a scimitar. You would be getting 70 in total if you sell your own leather, and it will cost 45 gold pieces. So that'll give you a net of 25 gold pieces profit. Um, I asked the gal would it be possible to make it 30 gold pieces. That you would get back. Right, with this purchase. Right. right. Charisma. Persuasion. And just yeah. say how yeah. you yeah. try to get it. He basically did. He basically did. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> oh, yes, no. Nope. Nope. 25 for this. <laughs> okay. Okay, uh, you have now 25 extra and remove all the uh, leather, etc. Yep. Um, she I'll raise says my armor that class the started leather will be done at the end of the day. Okay. It's not I'll change my armor class now, though. Yeah, yeah it's do. fine. We're not gonna be in combat. Yeah. I hope. Never well, know. I said I hope. You better hope I don't get into. I didn't a say fight definitely. Or something. <laughs> you might get into fight at the bar, depending on how you are. Then again, you are female. Probably less likely to get into fight. Unless you start it. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, unless you start it. Next person. Okay. Uh, step forward and uh, offer. Uh, Two things of leather armor, a scimitar, uh, in exchange also for uh, studded leather. So you have two pieces of leather plus one scimitar? That's correct. Um, and you want... Uh, does that include your own... Oh no, you can't wear studded. studded. Oh, why not? Because it's got... It is iron. <laughs> no, no. Oh. Uh... I think it said you could have. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. I don't think you can wear. It's um, not technically. I mean, like, it'd be like holding. You can't wear studded leather. You can, however, wear height. They don't have it, but it's medium armor, armor. no stealth disadvantage, and it's 12 plus dead. You have medium armor uh, proficiency? Two. No, I think it's uh, light armor. I'll have to look it up. Because it's not, it's not metal, main metal. I'll I'm gonna... No, but he can't even use swords. Huh? Would, would he, as far what? as I know... A scimitar is a, a scimitar sword. is a sword. Yeah, he can use a sword. I'm going to I'm going to check in how far that goes. You can't... You can't it's just the armor. You can't use... It, you have to use a wooden... Sh it's, it's anything that counts as armor. I remember reading that. But... Well, this is armor. Right. And it does have uh, studs of iron. I guess... Uh, let me see. Throw it. I'll, I'll just check on how it is written, depending on that. I'm pretty sure it's just defenses. But yeah, I mean, like, if if it's studded. I mean, if you if if even a shield, which is usually just a piece of wood, uh, protected by iron, if you if that needs to be wood entirely, then it does. It yeah. does, but shields can be made of wood. There's. 
Yeah, they can, but usually shields are not made of wood. Usually they are made of, I think, also part of leather. Right, I, I would say that you can't get any, like, plus, sh like, shield plus one or two or three or something like that if it's pure wood. But I don't see any reason why a normal shield can't be completely made out of wood. It's good wood. Theoretically, it's magically, mm. because if he's a druid, theoretically he could make, like... He might have magically infused it right. a little bit. But... Let's see... Figure out where that is. Because he has proficiency with a scimitar, so why wouldn't he be able to yeah. use it if he's got? Yeah, your equipment yeah. is a wooden shield. It specifically says it... wooden shield in equipment. Yeah, it said made of metal, not made with metal. <laughs> no, no, that's that does was, it actually that was say the that? Distinction. You know, it just where says. Is that? It, it says under proficiencies, under armor, that's on page 65. You also have not... medium armor, by the way. Yeah, you're saying. right. Yeah. Um, but yeah. it says will not wear armor or use shields made of metal. But, okay, they can uh, they can include. I can see it right now. So you can buy the studded. Yeah, I mean, if, yeah. Okay, sounds good. I mean, I think that's a DM thing, actually, because it's not specific. But yeah, I, I th I'd see because it's no, primary it, leather. It, it reads like that. It's, it isn't made of metal. It has metal in it. So I'll give him that. Okay. I just wanted to be sure. Yeah, yeah. And it just says armor. So. So yeah. Which basically nets you with, uh, you have to pay twenty two point five gold pieces. Okay, uh, but part of the agreement is I keep my leather armor until I come to pick up the studded and then we exchange. She sees no problem with that. Okay, so I give her a 22 and a half. That's 22 gold with 5 silver. Okay. Do you have 5 silver? Uh, no, no, I'll just break a, a gold piece. No, she gives you 5. She gives you 5. Yeah, okay. So that doesn't really matter. Uh, she seems fairly happy now, actually. <laughs> a lot of business to do. Yeah. It's nice. Yeah. She gets a lot of decent stuff. She sells a lot of decent stuff. Tommy! Uh, I would like to sell my six leather armors and uh, two of my skimmeters. Two of your skimmeters, that's 25, plus six leather armor, that's six and five. 30, that'll, yep, 30, that'll give you 55 gold. Uh, I also want to inquire into any weapons that she may have. Uh, her question, a counter question to that is, what are you more or less looking for? Uh, better than your sword, sort of. maybe? Just yeah. I don't think there's anything better than your uh, sword. What melee weapons do you have? Um, she goes by, she says, well, we have uh, short and long swords. Thanks to you, we now have a couple of skimitars, but you sold those, so you're probably not interested in them. Uh, we have morning stars. Uh, great axes, great swords. Battle axes. Mm. And then we have my, more or less the uh, lighter... Weapons, clubs, daggers, uh, hand axes, javelins, maces, sickles, spears, uh, that sort of thing. Uh, no, I won't have any of them then, thank you. Alright. She then uh, hands you your 55 gold. 